Oke. What's up guys? I'm Andy Thomas, a uh, professional hill climb racer and backcountry rider for Polaris. Today we're going to talk to you about the new new Polaris snowmobile. I'm Mindy Fable, Players Ambassador with Granola and Gasoline. This is really, really, really exciting year because there's so many things that are happening. The thing that's gonna get the big headlines, most press is turbo. Factory turbo. Boost. Boost, baby, boost. It's engineered very cool to where it's instant boost. It, you don't have the lag from these aftermarket turbos we've been buying for years. It takes the Patriot 850 engine and adds the turbo on top of it. So tried and true engine with new turbo technology. Another cool thing about the turbo system is our air box. The air box has reeds built into the air box. That way air can come in through your normal intake on the hood that we all know about. And then it also can suck in directly from the air box. It has reeds so that Air can get in, air can't get out. It's a genius, it's a great idea. Once it builds enough boost, it always has boost. It's like a stock snowmobile with way more horsepower because your boost is right now. It's awesome. I was shocked how easy it was to ride. I've been on a turbo twice in my life and both times I gave it back to the person who owned it in 30 seconds because I was terrified. It seemed so scary and intimidating. And this turbo, I got on it and I just was like, felt so comfortable and so confident. I looked like Caleb Kosturki out there. I was like, wheelie this, wheelie that, re-entry here, bow tie over there. Okay, maybe not quite like Caleb, but instantly I could do all these things that before I couldn't do. It's very friendly power, but it's a lot of it. The way that it's delivered into your hands is very usable. It's not too much, it's not a brutal hit, and it's, always consistent it's the same power all the time which is really cool that would be enough like if polaris just said we did a turbo that would be enough but they didn't stop there another really cool thing about the 2022 polaris it's in the matrix chassis everything is narrower a new design of the rider stands and the seat so it's way easier to get back and forth the next thing we want to talk about is the short tunnel it's so sweet the way it looks it comes back it narrows in and it's way shorter People have been doing this with like hack saws and axes for a while now. Just Polaris is making that happen from the factory. So you can get one that's about five inches shorter and one that's about eight inches shorter. Just like instantly easier to maneuver, not get stuck. I've been cutting my tunnel. I like how it feels. It doesn't get in the way. There's no drag back there. So downhill turns. When you turn downhill, your tunnel doesn't drag. You're able to turn up faster when you're side hilling you don't have that tunnel drag which helps you not panel out and slide but to do this players had to overcome another engineering feat which is the cooling system to keep these sleds cool because it used to run through the whole tunnel the way they did this was they moved their heat exchanger up towards the front of the tunnel and now the cooling system only runs either a little bit past the seat or just to the seat in the boosty sled one thing that's going to help with that is way less snow build up on the tunnel I was talking to an engineer and he said that they've measured up to 40 pounds of snow and ice coming off the sled. That's a lot of extra weight to be just carting around with you. Okay, the new computer screen is totally awesome. For us mountain riders is the screen is way bigger and we have ride command on the screen. So as you're riding, you can see where your buddies are riding as well. So if Johnny boy's stuck in the ravine over there and you can't get him on the radio, but you know he's over there because you can look on your screen. It'll save a ton of time in the mountains trying to find your friends. I was one of those people who was like, I don't need fancy electronics, but then I used it and the safety features of finding your riding partners, having a map on the screen, being able to get a snapshot of how your turbo is performing, huge, it's awesome. I think everyone should get that element because it's just really a functional upgrade. So we got boost, new chassis, tunnel lengths, and then a couple cool little things like the tow hooks are removable and interchangeable new grips, new brake lever, and new bumper. And so exciting, tether come stock. I'm sick of drilling holes in my shroud every single year to put a tether on. It's so sweet, Polaris is coming with that. And it's just a magnetic tether, so you don't have to, it's not keyed to your snowmobile. It's interchangeable. Here's a short down, rundown on riding them. <laughs> it's so fun. I got on the boost sled and I was just like burr, burr, burr. Every one of us wants to do a re-entry. Every one of us wants to do a bow tie. Hopovers are so easy on this snowmobile. It's insane 
having the short tunnel and a little more power, how much easier it is to come into the mountain and have all that momentum. And then there's no tunnel drag. So when you jump the snowmobile, all your weight comes off. The snowmobile has all that power, it wheelies up and you can jump to that other side so much easier. Like the whole thing is just so modern. It, it works so well. There are a lot of options this year. There are all kinds of track lengths, all kinds of tunnel lengths, all kinds of models. If you wanna get in touch with Andy or myself to talk through what might be the right fit for the kind of riding you do, down below for contacting us on social media uh, or talk to your dealer. They have a lot of info about these as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like and comment below. Read here. And we'll catch you next time. How does turbos make you feel? <laughs> turbos make me feel warm and cuddly inside.